Hey, hey, hey! This is Rich with Mowers and Blowers Outdoor. Hey, we're on the way to the auction, so we will see what's out there. And uh, we've got some uh, little chilly weather out here, and it is about just getting warm. The sun's starting to come up. It says 52 in my car. Earlier it said like 42 on my phone. So we are driving out to the auction. We'll be there in probably three to five minutes. That's my famous line, right? So we are going to walk around the auction look at some of the stuff for sale, and uh, if we get a chance to go bid on something live, you'll get to watch some live bidding, watch if I win or lose items. One thing you got to have in the auction business is uh, you have to set your limits. So if you get in a bidding war, you have to say, okay, hey, my limit is you know, 50 bucks or whatever the limit is. And then stick to your guns because I know you want to win the item, but don't let that get you uh, excited and you start bidding more than 50 bucks or 60 bucks, 70 bucks, whatever you set your limit at. We will see what's uh, going on out there in about. Look at this truck. I wonder if that's my buddy. I think it was. That was that was one of the guys who uh, flipped lawnmowers. I see him driving back this way. So maybe he didn't see anything out there that he liked. I don't know, but. And then uh, I'm on StreamYard, so we'll have a chance to uh, here and uh, do some live chatting. Let's see if I can fix that back up the on there. There we go. And I still, like I said, this is my second time trying this StreamYard, so. I'm not all that familiar with it. If I see a text, I don't know if somebody can send a text, send a message and see if I can see it. You're out there. That truck was flying down the road. You like this uh, dash cam? And now we get up here and we will be on a dirt road. So it rained yesterday all day. I mean, it rained and poured all day. So things that people bring out here, you can start bringing stuff out to the auction on uh, Wednesday, piling it up out here. So you know that stuff got wet. And see the puddles right there. Oh, the camera keeps falling. Nice bumpy road. Going down the bumpy road. Going down the bumpy road. Get to the auction. Well, it's not as wet as I thought it would be out here for all the rain we had. Let's 
Let's see if we can find a parking spot. It's not in a mud puddle. We have arrived at the Looks like a dry one right here. There we go. Hey, do you guys, do you guys watch the Musty One uh, video? I I think I got the same uh, GPS and the same uh, thing older that he has. That's funny. What is on the side of that truck? Like somebody did some artwork, custom artwork right there. So you can see there's quite a few people here for just being a normal uh, auction time. Let's. Uh, into my audio and see what we got going on. You guys can hear me? Hello. Switched over to the Bluetooth. There we go. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Hey, all right. Let's see who we got out there. I, I see uh, Jungle Bob. Woohoo! AJP Garden Machines. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll give you each five bucks. <laughs> There's your uh, owner's scab. Has a flat tire. Tom! Hey, how are you doing, buddy? Good. Well, where do we want to start? I see Chainsaw Mark out there. Those Chainsaw Mark camo, camo, camouflage shorts. It's like a Cub Cadet. International Harvester maybe. Yellow and white. Here we go. Nice old snowblower. Hey, I think that belt seen the better days. Wonder how good these things still throw snow compared to these new ones. Nice. Look at all these engines here. There we go. Turn sitting on the ground. It's hard to turn them with camera in the hand. 
That one's free spins. <laughs> well, that one's not a good one. Yeah. Potential. All right. Craftsman LT2000. Silver one. And uh, nothing under the hood. Set, probably sitting over there. One of those motors. There's another one. A red one. Intact in it. There's your husk of iron. Scott's by John Deere. Intact. That's a nice. I love these V twins. Can't say that enough. Some nice stuff out here today. A wheel horse. Here you go, Ken. He's working on an older wheel, wheel horse. This is a newer one. Roll to tiller. Some more engines. Today's the day for engines out here. John Deere, 145. I am looking for a uh, yellow gas can for one of my video projects. <laughs> so I believe I just invited a guest if I did it right. Did the link go out, guys? I don't know. If not, we'll try it again. Copy to clipboard, copied. To join looks like I already forget how to do it.
Let me see. Sorry. I'm going to see if we can go here and see if I can add a link somehow. All right, I believe I did it. So, if any of my... Oh, how do I get back to the other thing without disconnecting it? Oh, nice. There we go. So, if anybody wants to join up on here, you can uh, join. I sent out the link. I believe it went out. All right, what do we got over here? A couple chainsaws, some tanks, echo chainsaw. Man, it looks pretty clean. How clean that is. CS3450. It's got the spark plug disconnected. Primer bulb is uh, seen better days there on that one. Then we have just your basic home light. Jack is going up. Hold the weight. They're compressive. What do we got here? Some Red Max backpack blowers. Look like they've uh, been left out in the sun. What's up, Mark? Hey, what's going on? Are these yours? No. I know. Yeah, they have. That's a mess. Yeah. Aluminum boat. Surprised it doesn't have a lot of water in it. Here is a leaf back. Is it a chipper also? Chipper leaf back or just a leaf back? It is a chipper also. <laughs> Man, that would be great for Halloween. You already got the, the eyes and the mouth cut out right there. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, this one looks like it's seen uh, some use or been sitting around. It spins awful freely. Little power washer. Can't pull that one. All right. We've got games. Look at this. I guess while we're waiting around for the auction, we can start playing some games. Nice tool belt.
Nice leather tool belt. Grandma's old style rye soap sign. What else we got? What do we got in this box right here? What do we got? What are we looking at? Some drill bits, a couple little odds and ends in there. Wonder if this stuff was out here or did it get wet? Uh, it doesn't look wet on there, so I, they might have brought it out this morning. So that's what we're looking at today, guys. That's nice right there. So a quick change. Quick connect. Speed lock. Worms and tires, free coffee cup. That's just funny. Rims look nice though. Hey, what's up, Donnie? So this is what we got to look at today. Today is the day of engines out at the auction. So people, we have quite a few engines. Here is a steel FS40C. Let's check this out. See if I can pull it over. Or what's going on with it? Nope. Just not gonna pull that one over. <laughs> not gonna pull that one over. This is a nice wheelbarrow. Really nice. Heavy duty, nice big wheel on it. No rips and tears in that seat. Need a brake nailer. Looks like it hasn't seen much use. Squirrel feeder. Take this, put your corn on there like that. Squirrels come up there and eat it. So engines, engines, engines. Two more engines here. There we go, right there. 
old fashioned. Wonder how long that would take you to mow your yard. Should buy it just to do a test with it. We'll see how much it goes for. So that's a 48 inch deck. Is it even connected? Nope. So it's not even connected there. Obviously, it's not the right deck that goes on here. Got the paperwork, which is nice. I've gotten a few of these with they put they do put the paperwork right in there. We are back over here. What are we coming up on? About twenty six minutes, so we're gonna do like thirty minutes, I believe. Nobody wants to join up. Look at the fishing reels. Nice. This will definitely bring people over here. A lot of nice uh, fishing going on here in Michigan. Let's see if we can pull that out. Oh, I can't pull it out with one hand. So, this, yeah, the problem is that farm is not like it. There we go. Yeah, like, yeah. There's some moonshine in that. Yeah. A lot of good collectibles here. Yeah. Somebody's collection. Came to the sale. Oh, yeah. I guess they're all made out of heavy metal. Yeah. It's when they made stuff good. They're not plastic. Let's do the twist again. Trouble checkers. Is that who? Honky Tonk. Paula Paula, no, I don't really know about records, so some of these could be worth some money. It's not my forte. Records. Toolbox. Toolbox, toolbox. This one looks like a nice one. And it comes with tools. Nice. There you go. Got your tap right there. What else we got? What other goodies we got in here? Nice. I haven't seen one of those since like high school. Let's see. That says Allen. Allen wrenches? Oh, and a punch. I was watching uh, Andrew. He had a punch in his uh, toolbox. Another nice punch. There you go. You got your pick. You got your, your wire. 
got a handle you can put stuff on. Filler gauges. This one's all set up, man. But shuts up like that. And does it lock, though? Does it lock? Might lock. Nice little toolbox for sale. wonder if all these other ones have tools in them. Oh, jackpot. Sockets. Hope they already got them labeled. Craftsman, Husky. Husky. Any snap-ons? Nope, Craftsman. Craftsman and Husky. No snap-on that I see. So check them all out now. I'm excited. Hey. This is the special blue wrench. wonder why they're painted blue. So they know who they are. When you're out there working, you're like, hey, that's mine. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. It's blue. Nice. Oh, look, nice and neat. They even put the little padding in there. Wow. This is right out of somebody's shop. Got the hatchet. Now we got the fishing box. There we go. One of my friends, he actually makes lures and then custom paints them, airbrushes them. So you're fishing. Ooh, here we go. All I can think of crossbow, the Walking Dead, and Daryl. With this crossbow. Yes, they do sell guns out here. They sell guns, they sell cars. I think we got two uh, cars over here for sale. I kind of walked by two trucks, I think they were. Who can tell me what this is? Can you guys, anybody tell me what this is? All right, what do we got on this side? This looks like a fold-up bicycle. See the handlebars fold down. It's a nice old bike right there. I need one of these rollers. I wonder if I can just take one off. I just need one roller. So we got an LT3000 with a 20 horsepower Intec. It's not a V-twin. Usually when they make these 1000s, 2000s, 3000s, 4000s, they uh, you know, put like a 17 horsepower in the 1000, maybe like, or maybe even less, 14, 15 horsepower. Then, then they go up to the 2000, they put like the 17 horsepower, 16 horsepower in it. And then, usually, when they go up to like uh, 3000, they might have a 
20 horsepower like this, but a lot of times they put the twins in there. Maybe that's the 4,000 or 45. I've seen a 4,500, which is an odd number. All right, what else we got going on over here? So we have uh, two trucks for sale. So they will auction these off. It's relatively good in it. Looks like they, they resold that. They did a little body work on it. Well, we are at 36 minutes. And I got carried away with the toolboxes. Let's go see what they're auctioning off over here. See if we can see anything. See if there's anything in the in here to be auctioned off. Ten minute park. A nice car. Holy cow, you are eating again. Yeah, Bob, a cider mill? Is that what you're trying to say? All right. Trying to find a spot to go. Where's a good spot to close up? Got to figure out how to flip the camera around without disconnecting myself. And then I'm going to go, so things of interest, not that engine, uh, that still might be of interest to me. I'll see what these lawnmowers go for because something that nice and clean might go for a lot, but it'll be an easy flip. Rototiller, I didn't even pull on that. Yeah, I'll investigate that a little more. Engines. Definitely, this one did start up. I heard this one running. So this one would be an easy flip. But again, a wheel horse, 
takes a certain person to buy a wheel horse is what I find. I'll be, might be interested in that if we go for, let's see, set a limit, five bucks. Goes for five bucks, I'll buy it. Just for S and G's. This one I could be interested in. It is spinning and just got to the compression part, so. And then Husqvarna's. These are big around here with the tractor supplies. They sell these Husqvarna's. So, again, nice, clean. You can clean this up pretty easy. Has one little rip. How many hours on it? 522 hours. Has a 23 horsepower V twin in it. And people like these little craftsmen for some reason too around here. I have people call me, You have a craftsman? You have a craftsman? And then I'm interested in these molders. So, molders are far and few in between. Chainsaw Mark's looking at one, so. Yeah. Could be my competition to bid against. Yeah, is that what you need? A lot of times people take these things off trying to fix them and whatever, then they lose them in the garage and so like this. Like parts and pieces missing. Who knows what where you're gonna find those parts and pieces at? Yeah, spins freely. It's probably this why is what I, this is what I needed for that lawnmower I just sold. I ended up selling it. It's running a little on the fast side, but Did you sell that roadster? Not yet. She's saving some money. Oh, but she wants it? Yeah. Okay. She does want it. I don't know. All right. Yep. I'm working on it. I got a person where I work with. She's got a, I got a rototiller. See, rototiller season is just about over. Like everybody's already got the gardens in, so they're not buying roller tillers as much. Anymore. Hey, buddy. It's windy over here. The side of the barn. Let's wrap up and go see some uh, chickens and roosters. We'll go check them out. Some duck eggs. No, 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 duck Quail eggs. We gotta go visit Rusty Rooster in here. Being awful noisy. Yeah, we're, we got to get rooster, rooster up here on my channel live. <laughs> Talking to you, Bob. What's he saying? So let me out of this cage. Got your pigeons up there. For some reason, pigeons are big here.
All right, fellas. I want an extra 15 minutes. We will find a spot. Close this down. Try to flip the camera around. Probably take me five minutes. Camera. Whoop. Nope, that wasn't it. There we go. Settings, camera. Front facing one. Front facing one. Is that going to be it? There we go. Now if I can close the settings off without logging out. Hey, guys. It's Rich with mowers and blowers outdone. Hey, this was a live walk around for the oxen. And uh, just thanks for joining me. Seen a couple people out there. And I will be investigating some of the things that I look at. These lawnmowers, engines, and a steel weed whacker sitting over there. Some of the drill bits and toolboxes looked uh, pretty good. And as always, we'll see you. At the auction.